Uh, you always hear the players are so excited for this tournament. What's it like as a coach? Is it nervous or are you really up for it or are you just a great season? Uh, well, I think as a coach, you know, one of the things I've probably learned over the, the last period of time is is you've got to keep quite an even temperament. Um, you know, we've... We're all we're all excited, but uh, yeah, for a coach, you've got to make sure you create the right environment for the team, and, and and so I'm ready for it, mate. You know, that's the big thing. I'm ready. We've done some good preparation as a coaching team. We've still got a relatively new coaching team now. We've done some good preparation. We've got some good ideas for the Scotland game. Uh, we want to continue on some of the work we did in autumn, but add, keep adding to our game and. It's an opportunity every day for us to get a little bit better. And you mentioned it before. Is there an extra bit of spice in this first fixture, having lost to Scotland last year in your own back garden? Uh, well, I think every game for England's got plenty of spice in it, mate. Yeah, it's like going to the Indian restaurant and and you know you look down the menu and the one that's got the the four four chilies next to us is the spiciest one. If that was you looking down the Six Nations at games, it's always the one that England's in. Yeah, everyone wants to beat England. Uh, we know that people don't particularly like England as a as a rugby team. So, yeah, we enjoy that that challenge, and we're after them, mate. We're going after them. We're going after the other team. So, yeah, we had a poor Six Nations last year, um, and we're going after the other teams. It starts with Scotland at, at Murrayfield. We're going after the Calcutta Cup. So they better be ready. You said you had a pair of Six Nations last year. You had a pretty good autumn. What do you think this team is out of yours at the moment? Uh, well, we're a very young team, mate. Very young team, but a very good team. And we're only going to get better. You know, and I, I can palpably feel the excitement in the players that they can see they've got this group of players. We've you know, still got some guys from the 2019 World Cup who are outstanding players and want to get better. Um, you know, Ben Youngs has come in, for instance, with the lowest skin folds he's ever had for, for, for England. Uh, best condition he's been in. So you've got that group of players. You know, Ben's played 100-odd tests. Then you've got the next group, the, the Currys, the 23, 24-year-old Sinklers, Genge, who have been in the system for three or four years, are just starting to move towards their, their, their best in test rugby. Then you've got this younger group. Now, Marcus, is, Marcus and Freddie Stewart, and then an even, even younger group of players. And, and everyone can feel this team can play rugby that can... That, that can change the world, and that's what we're going to attempt to do. Yeah, and you mentioned Marcus there to drive this team forward. What do you see that 10, 12, 13 axis going, Eddie? Do you like to make changes in your time in charge of England? Where do you see it going at the start of this campaign? Uh, well, we've got good competition for places, mate. Um, yeah, we just had a, a quick meeting this morning and, and made the point that every day in camp's a selection day. Yeah, you know, and the players are going to make me look like an idiot to not pick them. So, yeah, you know, we've got good competition. You know, Marcus has obviously got a bit of a head start, but you know, you can be caught. You know, even though you've you've got the jersey for the for the previous test, you know, you can be caught. So it's up to George George Ford and George Furbank to to keep putting the pressure on, keep making sure that Marcus keeps developing. And then the 12 and 13, again, we'll just have to wait and see who, who comes through. But we've got a good group of players there that are going to compete hard. Finally, for me, you have a number of uncapped players in there for your, for your squad. How big a turn is this for them and also the World Cup in 18 months' time to give them a chance to see if it won't there made all the how good they can be? Yeah, it's, it's how quickly those uncapped players can adapt to Test Rugby. Yeah, they come into an England side, a New England side, where their role from their club has to change. What what doesn't change is is the skills that got them here, but they have to find a slightly different role because we play a style of rugby that's not the same at their clubs. So you find with the young guys, if they can adapt quickly, they'll come through and then and then they get sorted out at test level, you know. What you're good at in one game, they take away from it at the next game. And so you've got to keep adapting. So for those guys, you know, some of them were ready to play and some of them have got to show us they're ready to go to Australia, you know, and we're not sure which which who's in the zoo yet, which one's going to go and which ones uh, 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 are going to play in the Six Nations and which ones are going to show us they're good enough to go to Australia. And some of the guys might drop out, mate. Great stuff, Eddie. Thanks. Thank you.